would you suggest if someone's thinking about this, would you suggest, okay, start your articles at like the Auditor General or, you know, in the public sector or do private sector articles, you know, potentially with, or maybe you don't get exposure. How possible would it be to move over on both sides? Like if you qualify through the Auditor General, for example, uh, would you be able to get a job in corporate? And if you qualify in corporate, would you be able to get a job in the public sector? So, so it's a it's a really interesting question because I mean, and the short answer is yes in both directions. Um, I mean, I've known lots of people who who've trained at the at the at the AGSA and have, have decided to move out of the public sector and right. move into banking or things like that because at the end of the day, you get a CA and that CA carries the same recognition. I know often you know you see jobs that are big four. We're looking for somebody from the big four. Um, but you know, there's plenty of people only too happy okay. to employ people from the AG's office because it's well respected that the training program mm. is known as mm. being of a very, very high standard. And, uh, you know, the, in fact, the office itself is, is viewed internationally as, as one of the top oh. government offices in the world. So, okay. you know, you, you're getting, you're getting some incredible <laughs> exposure that, that will be recognized and there isn't a, you know, any, any sort of limitations. Okay. To that. Of course, of course, it's not going to be the same as if you were auditing, you know, a large bank and maybe they offer you a yeah. job because yeah. <laughs> the cycle of things, you yeah. know, that, that it's, it's obviously going to be a bit more difficult, but it is possible coming the other way. Well, that's exactly what I did. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I, and certainly um, even if you just wanted to move from a firm to the AG's office, I know there's yeah. lots of opportunities for that. Right. Um, the, the AG needs as many qualified CAs as possible. So right. um, there's, there's, there's not really limitations and understanding. I mean, so much of, you know, we think about the public sector and the private sector has been separate concepts, mm. but, but the two inter integrate all the time. Um, you know, the private sector does business for the public sector, you know, yeah. they, they submit yeah. tenders and so on, or they get involved in public private partnerships and having people who can navigate both worlds yeah. uh, is, 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 is a great benefit. So yeah. in, in, in the African professionalization initiative, we talk about this concept, mm. we, that we don't necessarily want to see, you know, one qualification for public sector, one for okay. private. We want, yeah. we want a professional who can move in and out of, yeah. of, of public sector, yeah. private sector, not for profit yeah. sector, and yeah. be agile enough to be able to operate it. Yeah. And that, that builds an amazing career. You can get yeah. such great experience and, 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 and keep your career interesting uh, if yeah. you're willing to kind of, you know, move between. Because yeah. the reality is, you know, if you do your articles at an audit firm and then you move into a bank or into corporate, there is always a transition. You know, there's always a learning yeah. curve because an yeah. audit firm doesn't, although you're auditing companies, it's not the same as working you know, as a financial manager for the company. There's going to be stuff that you learn anyway. So I think there's a, there's a little bit of an idea from, you know, from, from young professionals and students that once you've qualified, you know, everything. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll just, you know, it's smooth, <laughs> it's smooth sailing from there and you never have to learn anything again. Um, I was going to say your, your comment earlier about potentially studying further is a good possibility. Maybe we should edit that out because I think most students that are currently studying are going like, <laughs> don't talk to me about further studying. I'm like, that's a, maybe we'll have to edit that out. Um, <laughs> I think, okay, so that's, that's really good to know. And I think that, you know, the, 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 the fact that there is a transition process is very valuable to know because when you're looking at a place to do your articles, in a lot of cases, you know, there's a question of, is this going to be the right move for my career? You know, if I choose to do articles you know, at the Auditor General, for example, is that going to make or break my career? Like, will I always be stuck there? So that's quite, mm -hmm. that's quite comforting because it's the case of, look, start out, get your experience, do your thing. And as you build and you get more exposure, uh, then you can decide, you know, and, and, and you can kind of come back and forth. So that's very valuable. That's mm -hmm. really, really valuable.